I'm starting this reading vlog on a Friday. I've been working from home today, so my hair's a little bit greasy. <laughs> um, but I'm just about to leave the house which is probably good. I've actually not left the house today. I've just realised, as I've said that, to go and see Will and we're going to see um, Emma at the cinema and go for dinner as well. So that'd be really nice. I've got a few plans this weekend. I'm seeing some friends for brunch tomorrow, but I'm not really sure how that's going to go. It might be like brunch, which then continues into the day and or evening. And then Sunday we've got house viewing. But apart from those, those social plans, I, I really want to get quite a lot of reading done. I have been really finding a lot of solace in reading recently like all i've wanted to do is is read and just get into a completely different fantastical world so i've been quite ambitious with the books that i want to try and get read this weekend like i'm sure i won't read all of them but i do want to at least kind of start them so the first one which i'm like halfway through at the moment is a natural history of Dra dragons by marie brennan and i'm reading this because this was the pick my book club on Patreon that I run. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's a site where you can tip your favourite creators who make content for free. So if you're interested, you can go and have a look at my site, which is linked in the description box below, and you can get free access to videos and um, free access. You already get free access to videos. You can get early access to videos. Um, but there's also a tier where I do a quarterly book club. So this was the pick for the first Patreon book club, and I'm about two thirds of the way through. And I'm trying to read this kind of across the month because I'm going to be doing a video at the end of March where I talk about it and I want to make sure that this is fresh in my mind for the book club. Um, so I want to keep reading it this weekend, but I think I might make a conscious decision to not finish it so that, so that it's fresh when I do do my video. And then I've got three other books that I want to read and they're all like related to Jean in some way. So I, I promise I do have other friends. I don't know why, um, but I went to her house this weekend and we filmed our videos for the Feminist Orchestra, which is a book club that we run, another book club on Goodreads, reading feminist fiction. So we read one book every two months in, in that book club. So we normally have five books over the course of the year because we don't read in January and February. So the first book we're going to be reading for that book club is Inside This Place, Not Of It. And this is Jean's copy, so I took it away from her flat. And this is about women in the prison system in the US, but it's just transcripts of interviews with them. So they haven't, it's, it's like a book of essays, but it's really just taken in these women's own words. And it's all about all these different experiences that these women have and about racism, misogyny, sexual violence in the prison system, which sounds like a tough old read, but I know that Jean read this a while ago and like really, really loved it. So I was quite keen to put this on the list for, for the book club this year. And this is the pick for March and April. So as I've borrowed it from her, and I don't think the actual transcripts are that long. There's also a lot of appendices in here and lots of information about the prison system. So I don't know how long it will take to read. Um, but I'm hoping to get this read so that then I can give it back to her later in the month. So I'm going to start this. And I have another book that Jean lent me, um, which is just a romance book because I've just been really wanting to read stuff that, I mean, I hesitate to say trashy, but something that's really easy to read and that you can just whiz through. And honestly, I actually don't know what this is other than it's romance and Jean enjoyed it and just said, yeah, take it. Um, you'll read it really quickly. And I think she said her other friend described this as porn. So, I, I mean, I'm not a big romance reader, like romance slash erotica really, like I don't know where the line is. It's, it's all new to me, so I'll be interested to see what I think of this. Um, literally, I've not even read the blurb, this is quite bad of me to pick this up in the video, but I'm, I'm sure you don't mind. I will I'll try and read it um, over one of these days and then I'll let you know what it's about. But more importantly, than this book, like, sorry, sorry to be hierarchical about literature, um, is Girl, Woman, Other by Bernardina Veriso, which I have started reading today, and already I'm loving this. So this was obviously the winner of the Booker Prize last year, and it's about lots of different women, mostly black, mostly women, mostly black, in the UK and all of their different experiences, and it's split into groups of three people, so you have a woman, like a mother and a daughter, and then a third person who is related to them in some way, and I also get the feeling, now I've started it, it's so big, to hold with one hand, I'm going to put it down, that the groups of three are actually related somehow like there, there is some relationships between all of these different people but it's just snapshots in their lives and they can be in different time periods and 
yeah, so far, it's great. The first woman is directing and writing a play that's opening at the National Theatre, like that's where we find her, right at the beginning of the book. And I just love the descriptions of London. I think that was right up my street in terms of a first person to open a book with. So here we go, I will show you. These are the four books I'm gonna try and read over this weekend. I don't know how much I'll get read, but I'm hoping tomorrow morning before I go to brunch, I'm gonna have quite an easy morning. And I want to I wanna get quite a lot red then. And I might get some more red, like in the evening or something. I also wanted to give a bit of an update of what's been going on since my last reading vlog, um, which has been quite horrible. But I, you know, things are personal, but I also think it's good to share things, especially something like grief, because it affects everybody. And it, it's a thing that happened in my life. And I feel like it'd be strange if I didn't talk about it. Um, so... If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen this post already, because um, I think I posted something last week. But I had a miscarriage earlier in January, so it was at 12 weeks. And it's just been such, like, a long process. Obviously, a very extremely painful and upsetting process, but also a really long physical process. So I had to go into hospital to get the miscarriage induced, because it didn't happen naturally. Um, then a few weeks after that, I had to have surgery and then after the surgical procedure I then developed an infection <laughs> so I feel like I like personally in my body I've been ill unwell whatever for like six seven weeks um, and then on top of that we've obviously had the grief that Will and I have had to be dealing with um, it's been a really it's just been a really shit horrible time and you know I think that's understandable anybody can imagine what that would have been like for us but I wanted to mention it on here just because I feel like everyone I have told in my life like the minute this happens to you everybody else like in it tells me about someone else they know who has gone through this everyone's like oh I had a miscarriage or my sister did or my sister-in-law or my auntie or my friend and it's crazy how common it is and I did know it was common before I got pregnant obviously but I thought the common side of it was more like really really early on in the pregnancy like I thought later later miscarriages were less common and it turns out they're not and it's a weird kind of grief to tell people about people seem really awkward about it like when I tell people at work for example um, and I think people understand if it's a different kind of bereavement people understand like if you've lost a parent people go oh yeah of course that must be really hard and I think with this because it's because it's so private and people don't always didn't always know you were pregnant beforehand people don't know how to react and it also feels a bit like a medical issue as well like a, like a personal private issue as well as the fact it's a bereavement and because I just find it so strange that it's so common and yet not talked about but the minute I do talk about it everyone has like so much to say and so many examples of people they know who have gone through it so I just felt like it would be remiss of me to be on social media being all happy and just showing perfect aspects of my life and not showing sad things that happen in life because so many people go through that and it's completely normal and completely natural and it's you know something like this is a kind of grief like any other and it's one that we're just gonna have to work through uh so yeah a bit of a bit of a downer to start the video on but that's that's real life I've, i'm really 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 looking forward to this weekend um because it's going to be quite it's going to be a nice mix of chill like social time with people fun times but also chill i'm not like traveling anywhere for example it's all going to be like home-based london-based um and I think that's just, it's just really what I need. So not much vlogging got done yesterday because we were just having loads of fun. Um, it was really nice, a really good brunch. We had kind of like lunch and then pancakes afterwards. We had a bit of a mix of mix of food. 
um, and then went back to my friend Kate's and we watched Mamma Mia 2, had lots of beers, then went over to my friend Stephen's and we had like more, we're Chinese, it was just like a really nice day. Um, so, not very interesting for the vlog, but nice for me. Although I did get to start reading inside this place, not of it. Um, I've read the introduction and the first woman, so the way it is set out in this book is that each woman has a chapter and it's just about her story. And yeah, this is going to be quite hard, <laughs> I think, to read. The first uh, woman's interview that we have is about how she went to prison while she was six months pregnant, that's when she went into prison. And then, and it was for embezzlement or like, like fraud. And when it came for her to give birth, they forced her to have a C-section and she was like shackled to the table and couldn't like hold her baby because she had shackles around her. And um, yeah, even, I mean, I don't think this is gonna be the most hard hitting story, but even just this opening, um, that's quite, it's quite hard. I don't think it's gonna be one of those books that you can read all in one go. Um, so I might put it down <laughs> for now and then read a few more um, testimonies later on and I think I'm going to start the the romance, what's it called, Fixer Up? I, like, I, can't, I can't even remember what it's called. Um, but I think I might start that because I fancy just a bit of an escapist book today. Um, so I will start that and then update you on what it's about and what I think of it. this is hilarious I've not been reading it for very long and I'm already halfway through because we went to went on a house viewing in the middle of the day um, which went well and it's like a house we actually probably want to offer on but it's very hard buying houses in London so I don't think it's gonna go anywhere but it was it was a good viewing um, <laughs> so this has only been like maybe an hour and a half two hours and I'm already already through it and it's so funny, there is so much plot in here, I just don't understand, it just keeps coming from nowhere. It's like this girl is in love with her older brother's best friend, but he left town to become a ba professional baseball player, and now is back in town because he had an injury, so he can't be a baseball player anymore. And meanwhile, she's the youngest of three children, no one takes her seriously, and also, she is a professional clown <laughs> for like children's birthday parties. And, and so he gets a job at their family's construction company. Ah, uh, fix her up, you see. And then her and her sister and this other woman have decided to start a club to fix themselves up, to sort out their lives. And then, like, they decided, like, the two, like, these two have decided to pretend to be boyfriend and girlfriend because if she has a boyfriend, she'll be taken more seriously. And if he has a girlfriend, he'll look more wholesome and maybe get like a good job in baseball commentary. Like it's just <laughs> like the plot keeps changing and there's so many different strands. And I'm just like, why? And then just now at the halfway point, they've had sex and that came out of nowhere. That was so strong. <laughs> I was not expecting it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's a fun, it's a fun, like, whiz through, take your mind off stuff kind of book. I don't really know where it's going. It could be, it could be anything. They could start working for NASA in the next chapter. Like, honestly, and I wouldn't question it. Um, so, that, that, that is fun. Uh, Will's just gone to the gym. I don't, I don't, it's quarter to six now. I don't know how I'll we'll spend the evening. I kind of want to keep reading. I actually feel like I might pick up the prison book again and read a couple more of those women because I was really, I really liked it. And I almost feel like I need a break from this, the silliness of this book now. Um, so I might read a couple more testimonies from inside this place, not of it. And also I was really enjoying Girl, Woman, Other. So I might read a little bit of that as well this evening because then I'll feel really good. Like I've read, even though I've not finished any books, I've read across a lot of books over this weekend.
that's it, weekend done. I was just going through these books and seeing how many pages I've read, and I've read a lot, even though it's across different books. Um, I read two more um, testimonies from Inside This Place, Not Of It. I read about a woman who shot her husband, who was abusive to her, <laughs> um, and then was in prison for murder, and another woman who was imprisoned for being part of a drug deal which turned into, into someone dying when she wasn't even part of the drug deal. She was like driving a car and didn't know what was going on and didn't realise that anyone had been shot and she got sent down for murder for like 25 years, um, which is another another interesting thing so yeah it's 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 dreadful to read um but i would highly recommend it because it's so frustrating you can really just see how when someone gets into the bureaucracy of that kind of prison system they just have no power and it's really hard to get out it's almost like reading something from like catch 22 or from like alice in wonderland like if it wasn't real and so harrowing um because you just nothing makes sense and they they just can't get themselves out of it yeah, so that's pretty dreadful. Um, this I did stop about the halfway mark, about 160 pages. Um, <laughs> and, you know, it's it's fine. It's just really, really quick and easy to read. Um, I'm not sure. I think the more I read it, the more I'm like, this is really stupid. But, you know, that's fine. That's what I wanted. And I read another um, section from here. So the first woman was Emma. And I've just read from her daughter Yaz's perspective, so I'm getting a feel for how these stories are going to link together now. It's sort of like a snapshot in their lives, um, each woman, but it's like they're looking back at their whole history. And it's not quite stream of consciousness, but it's almost like just looking inside that person's head and seeing where they've come from, the things they're worrying about now, um, the friends and relationships they've had, like how they see themselves in the world. It's quite... Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it and already those two voices are so different from different generations and have different perspectives on each other so I'm really looking forward to adding to that collection, collection of women. So I've read, so I worked it out, I've read about 70 pages of Girl, Woman, Other, 70 pages of Inside This Place, Not Of It and about 160 pages of this thing, Fix Her Up. <laughs> and then I definitely read about another 20 pages of um, A Natural History of Dragons as well. Um, not too much of that, but I've read that on a, on my, my commute. So I'm thinking overall, that's like 320-ish pages, which is basically a whole book. Um, and that might not be a lot for some people on booktube, but for me, to read like essentially a whole book over a weekend is really good. And I've, um, I've enjoyed it a lot. So let me know, obviously, in the comments if you've read any of these. I'd love to keep chatting about it. I'm sorry, I feel like I haven't been able to do as many like beautiful shots in this vlog. Um, like I normally like to film about what film what's happening and I quite like creating an atmosphere and I feel like this has just been me talking to camera but you know we um, we like to mix it up you can't have everything every time um, so I will see you in my next video bye